Hello there and welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I'm your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Now part of that men's style and personal grooming includes looking after your kit, making sure that your clothing and your accessories are ready to use and in good order when you need them. And when it comes to looking after your kit, one area which absolutely screams for your attention is your footwear. And if you look after your shoes and boots, it will pay you back in dividends in two separate ways. First of all, you're going to look good, all right? Because let's, let's face it, the vast majority of people do not spend any time looking after their footwear. So it'll make you stand out from the crowd like a sore thumb if you're the person who puts a polish on your shoes every week. You're going to look a bit better, you're going to look smarter, you're going to draw the compliments from people that you meet. Your shoes are the foundation of your clothing. You know, it builds from the ground up and it's one of the things which people's eyes rest on when they first meet you. So it's important to look your very best and that starts with your shoes. The other way in which looking after your shoes will pay you back is in the longevity of your shoes. Now your shoes and boots, they're going to be one of the most expensive items in your wardrobe. You know, the old saying is correct. You should spend as much for your shoes as you pay for your suit. And if that's the case, your shoes can be quite expensive. I absolutely subscribe to the old saying, cheap shoes are not good and good shoes are not cheap. So in order to make sure that our expensive shoes are a worthy investment, if we look after them, we polish them, we clean them regularly, they're going to last an awful lot longer than if we neglect them. If we allow them to get wet and we don't protect them and polish them afterwards. So it's important. Now having a decent shoe valet set which is stocked with the essentials for your daily maintenance is going to make that shoe care so much more easy for you. There's no excuses for shoe care procrastination, you know, putting things off to next week or the week after that if you've got everything you need close to hand. So this is my shoe valet set. I keep it where I look after my shoes so I know it's all there and it's ready to go. Now these are just the essentials. It doesn't include things like saddle soap and suede brushes which are, you know, in my perhaps more in-depth maintenance kit which I keep separate in a box because I don't use them all the time. This is just the essentials, the basics, the things that I use every day and the things that I recommend that you intentionally well-dressed men have to hand in your shoe care kit. So shall I show you what's in my little bag? Bring the camera in and have a look. Okay folks, so it all begins with a suitable receptacle to keep your shoe care valet kit within. And it doesn't have to be glamorous. Remember this is something which is going to be in your home, near to hand when you're looking after your shoes. So in this instance, this is simply an old wash bag. It's some, you know, cheapo material, plastic in nature, um, which I've been given or whatever over the years. Now inside, is what the important stuff is. Now in this particular case this little thing zips open and we have an inside or a bottom rather in which I keep my important bits and pieces. Now you know the products is really where it's all at and as you can see I've just got a few items here but covering all the bases that I need to look after my my shoes. Now first of all before we talk about the products themselves um, you're going to need something to apply the products to the shoes. Now many people prefer an applicator brush um, like this one I have here. This is just a simple um, applicator normally used for polish or shoe cream. Um, I've put this one in for demonstration purposes. I don't actually use one of these myself but if you do keep these you're going to need one for black and one for your other colours because you know if you were to use the black one perhaps on a light coloured pair of shoes you would have transfer of the coloration. So you can either have that type, this is just another type of shoe applicator brush. Again to be honest I don't use these. I personally prefer to use a cloth. Now also it's the cheapest way to be honest. This is just a piece of cotton cloth which I have harvested from an old shirt and as you can see 
you know it's been used quite a few times uh, and quite simply when I apply the polish if you have watched any of my shoe care videos I just wrap it around my finger dip it into the polish and I apply it to the shoe that way I find this works best for me personally because I get to feel where the polish is going you feel the ridges of the shoe you know it just works better and of course you know one shirt one old cotton shirt will last you for years so you know a great way of recycling and reusing your kit as well now the actual products which i recommend as a minimum that a gentleman should have in his shoe care kit now first of all you're going to need some sort of renovation or hydrating cream a, sh a shoe cream uh, i'm going to suggest Safia is the product uh, range that I personally use. Now, I'm not endorsed or paid or anything like that by Safia. I simply like Safia products. Um, it's something which I've been using for over 10 years. And do you know what? I first uh, became aware of Safia, oh God, about 10 years ago when I was in London and I'd gone to the, um, I think it's the Dunhill uh, club in London in which they have a barber and you know a spa and believe it or not I was going for a massage in that wonderful club I'd been given that uh, sort of trip to the spa there and whilst I was waiting to see the masseuse um, there was a professional shoe care guy who comes into the Dunhill store uh, every week and it's his job to maintain all of the shoes which are on display because they sell high quality leather shoes in that store and they actually pay a guy to come in and give them a good mirror shine every week and I got talking to the guy and he offered to actually polish my shoes and I noticed he was using Safia and I you know inquired what's that all about because I've been an ardent shoe care enthusiast for many years since I was in the military and he explained to me that it was Safia and it was a product that he heartily recommended and wouldn't use anything else on the high value shoes that they have in Dunhill. So I came home, I ordered myself a bottle and the rest is history. Now, one of the areas in which Safia excel and that is in their renovation cream. Now, it's called a renovator for if you're a francophone, a French speaker, and it's quite simply a hydrating cream which you can apply to any color of shoe as long as it's leather of course and this product um, it looks after the shoe it hydrates the shoe it renovates it it has oils and waxes within it and you can put this on any color of shoe of any level of quality and it will protect the leather it will keep the leather hydrated and it just works wonders it's I'm going to say about 20 quid a, bo uh, a bottle of this nature. This lasts for, you know, 12 months. It's not something you're spending a lot of money on. It's worth having some renovation cream in your shoe valet set. That's something you'll be using on your shoes on a weekly basis. Well worth having. Now, after you've purchased your renovation cream, the next product, which I'm going to suggest that a gentleman will, will require in his valet set, and that's shoe cream. Now, shoe cream, this is again a product by Safia. This is called Pomodia shoe cream. Uh, this is a product which often gets overlooked by gentlemen because most people, when they think of shoe care products, they think of polish, wax polish, which we'll talk about in a moment. But shoe cream is something which you're more likely and should be using more often. Now, shoe cream is beneficial because like the renovation cream, it has waxes and polishes which nourish the leather. It looks after the leather. And let's open this one up. And it has a strong element of color pigmentation. So this will add a little boost to the color of your shoe or boot. Um, this particular one is mid brown. I smell it because Safia products are all quite natural in nature and they emit a much different fragrance to what you'd be used to if you use something like kiwi or cherry polish, uh, cherry blossom, because they are petroleum based. This is not. This is natural wax and oil based, so emits totally different fragrance, much better for the shoe. This is what you would be using mostly on your shoes, right? If you buy nothing else, shoe cream is something which is necessary and will do the best in the long-term maintenance of your footwear. If you don't want to go down the renovation cream uh, route, go for polish instead. This will look after your shoes. Now, when it comes to a standard kit like this, I've got two pots of polish here. I've got black 
and I've got a mid-brown. In fact, this one is described as light brown um, because the majority of the shoes which I wear are either black or brown. There is a whole range of different colours, burgundies and, you know, greens and blues even, depending on the type of leather that you have. But for the majority of my shoes, I wear black or brown. So I keep two pots in my Valley little bag here because these are the ones I'm going to be using all the time. Again, these are in the sort of £20 a pot range from Safia. Of course, other brands are available at differing prices, but these are the two I recommend you keep in your bag close to hand. Now, when we've put some, um, you know, maintenance cream like Renovator and we've put some shoe cream like Pomodia polish onto our shoes, then we need something else. We need wax polish. Now, wax polish is what most people will be familiar with when they think about shoe polish. It's that classic, you know, polish, solid polish, um, although it's quickly going soft in this sunlight here. Um, but this polish is what you'll be familiar with putting on your shoes. Um, and it, it's very useful. It provides that little protective layer over your shoes that will stop it from being damaged by the salt in the winter time and the water ingress when, you know, on a wet day. So I keep um, a couple of pots of this stuff here. I keep black because I often wear black shoes. I keep brown, and in this case, this is a mid-brown, although when you look at it, it's not going to look brown, it looks a bit orange, doesn't it? But that's a mid-brown, uh, and that's good for pretty much any colour of brown. So if you've got a darker brown shoe, this is fine to apply. If you've got a light brown shoe and you don't want to alter its colour, you know, by patination, by adding darker brown polishes on there, this is ideal. This will maintain that colour and this is described as mid-brown. Um, this is from Safia's Medal Dior uh, polish range. Um, it's high gloss or glaçage as they refer to it and this really does work well in keeping your shoe shiny. It gives you a lovely shiny look uh, but also protects it. I keep it in black. I keep a pot of brown, again, because they're the two most common coloured uh, shoes that I own. I also keep a pot of not white, it's neutral, because neutral is perfect for every other colour. In fact, you can even press it into service on your black and your browns as well. So if you've got, say, a burgundy coloured shoe and you don't want to apply black or brown polish to it, neutral is perfect as a middle ground. Um, and as I say, it can be pressed into service in any shoe colour because it doesn't impart any pigment, any colour, and consequently doesn't alter the patination of any shoe that you'll have. So black and brown, also neutral for all of those other events that you may find yourself requiring some shoe polish. And finally, now if you're a, a shoe care chap and you're happy with just a standard shiny shoe, that's fine. But for me, I love a mirror shine on my shoes. So I always keep a pot of Safia mirror gloss in the bag. Now mirror gloss will assist in providing that final little shine to your shoe. And as you can see, I keep a little piece, a little wad of cotton wool in here. This is an old cosmetic pad, which I use to apply that to the shoe. Um, this is always the final stage in getting your shoe looking just the way you like it. I've got several videos on the channel which describe the maintenance and the building up process of the old mirror gloss shoe, uh, polish on your shoe. So hence, I keep a little pot of that in the bag ready for when I want to get that final zing, that mirror shine. So those are the products I have. I'm going to need some things in conjunction with them. So looking inside my bag, I also have a couple of brushes. Now, of course, you're going to need brushes. And in this instance, I've got two brushes, identical in every way, other than the fact that one has dark bristles and one has lighter bristles. The bristles themselves are no different whatsoever. The colour is merely there to help me identify them. So I'm going to put the black one to one side. They're both the same. Um, this brush is 100% horse hair. And the reason why I choose that, because it's lovely and soft, yet it's got plenty of resistance, loads of longevity, it's gonna last for years and years and years. Now, you, I would recommend having two different brushes. brushes. Um, 
One for your black shoes, one for everything else, because you don't want, as we've talked about earlier, color transfer taking place where your shoes are going to take on a darker hue because you've brushed them with a brush which you use normally for black polish. So this is my brush for all other colors other than black. Um, worth spending a bit of money on your brushes because they're likely to last you a lifetime, okay? Now this particular brush, 100% horsehair, this is a really good example of why it's important to shop around. Now, I bought this brush about 10 years ago now, gotta be, in a small cobbler shop in Lower Marsh Street on the south side of London. And I paid 16 pounds for this brush. Both of these brushes, I bought them both at that place. Now this exact brush, exact same brush, you can buy in another outlet, it's a famous outlet, it's Taylor of Old Bond Street, um, probably no more than a mile away from my little cobbler shop in Lower Mar Street in London. This brush was for sale for £60 in Taylor of Old Bond Street, which is, you know, a well-known expensive shop, I say expensive, um, they sell, you know, shaving accoutrement and shoe care accoutrement in that shop. It's in St. James's, it's one of the most expensive parts of London and consequently the products are marked up appropriately. £60 in there or £16 in the cobbler shop a mile away. Worth shopping around. I expect these brushes to last me a lifetime. They'll never wear out. I've owned them for 10 years now and there's no appreciable sign of wear on them at all. So worth shopping around. So keep good brushes in your collection and they will look after you. And finally, I keep a little cloth. This is actually an old beer uh, a beer cloth which I just use I spread this on my knee uh, and then I you know use my knee as my workbench effectively when I'm polishing my shoes generally so those are the contents of my shoe valet kit so there you are folks here we see laid out before us a basic shoe care valet kit but Contained within this little bag is everything that you need to maintain your shoes and boots for the future and they will last for year after year. And you know, this kit here, you know, if you added it all up, it is kind of expensive, I guess, to buy these products, but you buy them a little bit at a time. I certainly do. You know, I will buy probably one pot of the renovation cream a year. I'll probably buy one pot of the Pomodier shoe cream every two or three years and I'll probably buy a tin of the wax polish every three or four years you know these are not things that you're using regularly all the time so it's not an ongoing expense once you've bought it they're there the brushes you buy once in a lifetime you know so this is something which you're investing in which is going to be there ready to use when you need it keep it in a cheap little bag i mean you know an old shoe box is perfect because it's there when you need it get the stuff out get your shoes done and dusted you're going to look smart you're going to look tip top you are going to look like the intentionally well-dressed chap that you are so there we go go out and get yourself a shoe valley care kit if you don't currently have one i'm sure you'll find it a great advantage well I hope you've enjoyed this video today on looking after your shoes using a valet kit. If you have, it would be an enormous honour if you gave me a thumbs up to show me that you've taken some enjoyment and perhaps some knowledge from the video. And if you have the time, click that subscribe button and come on future journeys into the chap universe with me too. Until the next time, take care of yourselves, make sure those shoes are shiny and I will see you again very soon.